Hi, it's uh, John Reed. I'm live from Sapphire Now 2017, and it's appropriate enough to begin our video shoots of this year with uh, Tony from Scott's Miracle Grow. How's it going? Great. Thank you for having me. And uh, I feel it's appropriate we have a really <laughs> aggressive plant in the background, which I've nicknamed Kelly after Kelly Olenek and the Boston Celtics. But anyhow, uh, back on track. So what we're here to talk about is your journey with SAP Hybris, but also just how your business is changing. Um, you've been in uh, IT leadership roles. and. Tell us about sort of how your business at Scotts has been changing as retail and all that is sort of undergoing massive changes. Sure, absolutely. So about three years ago, we stood up a subsidiary company called Hawthorne Gardening, mm -hmm. and it was really focused on getting more into the hydroponic space. Okay. So we've been in the, the process of purchasing multiple, um, multiple acquisition companies uh, in the lawn and garden space, in hydroponics, right. uh, in li with liquid nutrients, soils, and with the lighting space. So we purchased three companies in that area. Uh, we've been vertically integrating those companies. And as we went through that process, uh, we looked at their customer relationship management tools that they had, and we decided you know, we want to put them all in one cohesive system mm -hmm. that can also talk to our back-end SAP ECC system. And what was the goal of those purchases? Was it to get closer to customers in new ways? And yeah, it was actually to expand on the market of hydroponics that's been growing so quickly over the last five years. Yeah. Um, and we want to get, with uh, Hybris, we think we can get closer to the end retailers that are purchasing these products uh, and sell more product into the retailers. Right. So you acquired some companies, but then you had some platform things because you got to get them all on the same platform, which creates some challenges. And is that how Hybris entered the picture? Yes, we had a lot of disparate customer relationship management mm -hmm. tools. Um, some were uh, pretty archaic and some were pretty novice. So we wanted to come with an enterprise grade solution that would allow us to collaborate collaborate well with the customers as well as collaborate across brands. Right. So what drew you to SAP Hybris in particular? Um, again, a couple of the pieces were, one, that it's a state-of-the-art tool. Two is that it integrates well with our uh, legacy ECC system that we have. Mm -hmm. And then three is the, the cloud model that we have uh, allows us to be able to stand it up very quickly. We know it's reliable. We know that it has high performance. And it would be great for our customers that are in retail stores on a regular basis. Now, even though you have SAP backend ECC systems and you also have SAP hybrid, so I always worry a little bit about integration challenges between cloud and, and on-premise. How did that go? That's a good question. Um, and for us, this was really our first foray into the cloud mm -hmm. environment on the ERP side. Um, right. So we were able to quickly uh, purchase the Hybris Cloud Integrator and set that uh, middleware up between our ECC instance and our Hybris uh, solution. And the mapping is pretty straightforward. Um, it was fairly easy for us to get the integration uh, to work correctly. Cool. And when did you go live? Uh, we went live at the end of January. Okay. So you've been live for a number of months here, probably too early to speak to a lot of hardcore business results, but what are you seeing so far? Uh, I think the one thing that we're seeing is from our sales reps, they're really excited about the new tool. The previous tool they had mm. uh, was only web-based. It didn't have the app mm. capabilities and the responsive UI that uh, Hybris has. So they're really giving us positive feedback on that. Uh, the other thing is we didn't have a great mechanism prior to implementing Hybris to look at the historical visits uh, and touches that the sales reps are having with the customers. So that's really giving us that business analytics piece. Mm. Yeah, hard to get salespeople to use a tool, so you know if they're using it, it must be pretty, pretty yeah, decent. Exactly, yeah. and they were uh, they were pretty excited about it when we rolled it out to the, to the yeah. sales reps. And that's a huge key, right? Because now, if you know they're using it, they're going to be interacting with customers and putting in the data that you're going to need on the back end. Absolutely, and the data yeah. is is the key point there to try and mm -hmm. collect. That. Where are we seeing in such a high growth environment and high growth market? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting to see for us who's buying and where are they buying and. Mm -hmm what retailers are hot, what customers are hot, what products are hot. So are you getting that kind of visibility now? Yes, we're seeing that data come back through okay. um, the C4C system, or the Cloud for Customer system. Uh, nice. The other thing that we see too is, if there's an additional data point that we need uh, to add into the system that we need to collect, we can do that through, um, whether it's a new dropdown or through the, the survey mechanisms that we have that are built inside of uh, Hybris. The other interesting thing for you is being at Sapphire this year is that there's also the SAP's recently announced Google partnerships working more closely with Google on cloud initiatives. Is that relevant to you? Because I know you're doing a lot of Google stuff. Yeah, absolutely. We're one of the largest customers of Google's uh, applications for enterprise. Mm -hmm. So we run their uh, Google apps as well as Gmail for our entire, uh, the G Suite for our entire company. Um, and that was one of the things when we, we looked at Hybris, we looked at 
kind of the integration that they had with Microsoft Outlook and with Lotus Notes, and they hadn't come that far along mm. uh, with the Google integration. But now we hear, you know, the, they've just announced that a further partnership with Google. Uh, they've been releasing new enhancements uh, to the Google integration with uh, Hybris, so that's something that's very interesting to us. And I guess you're set to learn more about that in about an hour in your next meeting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so one final thing, just tell us quickly in terms of your, your IT leadership, you and I were talking off camera a little bit about the impact of things like DevOps and, and sprints, which might sound a little bit fancy to some people, but what is at the heart of those changes to you? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I think what we've always seen in the past is the standard waterfall method with a lot of the mm -hmm. um, legacy SAP ECC environment, uh, you know, the build, test, those types of capabilities. Uh, but what we saw with Hybris was the ability to purchase an off-the-shelf software, um, do a lot of agile development quickly with the business users, collect requirements, right. make changes quickly, and do a quick integration with uh, ECC that allowed us to move faster for the customer, faster for our sales reps, um, and allowed us to be more effective more quickly. Pretty good summary of uh, the benefits of moving out from under those six month development cycles where you don't know what's going on. Absolutely. Anyhow, best of luck at the show and maybe next year you can bring a better <laughs> plant for us. Yeah, I think you might be using <laughs> our product on this plant the way that it's growing. Could be, yeah, yeah. right? All right, thanks a lot, Tony. Thank you.